consummate production designer he did sets and and props and costumes and uh, all the way down to styling and he was also a poet so he was also adept in literature and and the combination of uh, text and image I think is a uh, very uh, potent for his development as a production designer to be a designer you must be a renaissance man it is, you, you cannot just concentrate on design, you have to have interest in all aspects of design. You must be interested in life, in the world itself. See? And now, I, I encourage the kids to, inter, to integrate that with their technology. You know, uh, uh, they are actually so blessed, but now they must be able to use the technology. They must not be a slave to technology, they must use that for their design. It must serve them, they must not serve technology. I think that there is a, we can really trace a direct line from Badong all the way to our students via Eric Cruz, who was his student in costume design. And uh, Eric has been teaching with us for nearly 15 years. And so the work that uh, he demands from his students and the quality that he gets from them, I think is a direct uh, reflection of what was also demanded of him by Badong. So it's not just the design, it's not just the artistry and the creativity. I think it's also the discipline and the commitment to uh, design, to production design, that uh, is a great influence of Badong to our students today.